Well, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. I've got myself a new challenge today. Um, I'm going to set up a shelter and uh, I don't know, I'm going to try, I'm going to still try to do this in like 15 minutes. But I'm going to give myself a handicap. Take a little bit of this shrink wrap here. So I have, I hope I'm not wrapping it too tight. There's my handicap. I got one hand to work with. Something that we do at Wilderness Innovation to try to make your uh, situation out there safer and easier to deal with. All the parachute cordage that we send out with our products. Well, all of our cordage is wound in a figure eight. And that's so that you just, you just pull on the tag in and just pull it out, dispense it as needed. And very seldom you ever get a tangle. Here's a piece of cord. I don't know. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and we've done it. We've done it for, I don't know, eight years or so now, I guess. And uh, on everything we send out. So you can depend on what we've got. Kind of guide the stake, kind of hold it upright. I missed and hurt my foot there a little. One of the pluses is the ground is pretty frozen. So now. A little awkward. Okay, so got to go through once, through twice. There we go. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. There we go. All right. There we are. And through one more time. I'm going to make it slippery just because. I rest that on my arm, pull it through. I know you're not going to be able to see this, but we're going to go through one. Ah, come on. Ah. The end of the rope got caught in there. Okay, another one. Two half inches. Two half inches. All right. Now we come down here. Gotta grab my hammer. All right. Now gotta do our. There we go. Gotta do our. Hitch here. Okay. Is that one more above it? Two below, one above. Drop it. Drop it. All right. Good. Now we got some tension. So all of our cord comes to you, wound in a figure eight, just like this. Even if you order a 100 foot hank from us, we do the 100 footers wound in a, in a figure eight as well. Okay, so here's our cord just uh, wound around my hand. Here's my end to pull out of here. So I just start pulling that out of there. And look, look what's already happening as it pulls out of there. It's starting to try to, there we go. So it's starting to try to tangle already as I try to pull this thing out of there. I can just uh, undo this and pull it out of there. And if I'm not careful, I'm not careful how I pull that out of there. Because of all the twisting and tension that's in it, I have now Create a little monster here. I can pull it out to deploy it. And it just pulls right out of here. And notice how nicely it lays over here on the table. Alright, so now let me show you a little setup here. You can make it at home in your garage or whatever. A little simple way to uh, wind figure eights. And you can wind, like say, let's say you need to wind a thousand feet of it or something in 20 foot hanks. 
or even if you want to do bigger ones, I'll show you that too. Couple, couple dowels, couple pieces of copper tubing like this, couple pieces of EMT conduit or whatever. Drill a hole in a two by four, about hand span apart. That's about right what we found. And then I've just got a little paper clip, a little spring clip right here. And so all I do is uh, put the end of the cord in that clip just to hold it momentarily. And then I come around the, the post here and I come opposite side on this one. So you can see every time I go around, I'm making a figure eight. So it just goes like this, making figure eights. So I can just keep going. And once you, once you get good at it, well, you can whip right through it in no time at all. Now you notice this groove right here. This groove is cut in here to allow you to put your finger under there to pull this up off these posts right here. So you just pull it straight up off of there. And then I just uh, take it like this and you leave a, you know, about a foot or so and you start wrapping it. So I go around one time and I want to cross right there. So see I'm going around, I want to cross. Once I cross, I pull hard on it. That locks it in place. That prevents it from unwinding. Then when I get almost to the end, I stick my thumb in there. I go around, tuck my end under that little loop from my thumb, and I pull on that little tag and snug it up. That way, like that, this thing won't come undone. You can throw it in your backpack or whatever. It can bounce around in there, and it won't come done on you. And so now we're in a figure eight, so it's easy to pull this thing out and unwind it. I set up a lot of camps in the dark, and it's really nice to, uh, now you will have an overhand knot right at the end. That's because of that last little thing where you stuck it under your thumb. It comes out as an overhand knot. But anyway, so there it all is. So I can do that by taking this same little jig I have you make another hole down at the other end that's maybe uh, about a foot. That's about a foot apart. So I can make me another hole down there and I can pull this out of here and hopefully, there we go. Usually it's got to come kind of out of the middle to keep from tangling. So I just lock that in there just like before. I go around and diagonal back around so that you see I'm making a figure eight. And that's what I do. Every so often I push down. So we finish it off. Just a little wind. You want to leave some slack here to uh, wind around here to hold it in place. So now you see how orderly and organized that is in the way that that's wound. Now what I like to do is I take and form a loop with my finger, take the free end around here, and I take it like this and I snug it down and reverse back. And then I go ahead and wrap it a few times. Right there we'll hold this nice and securely and you don't have to worry about it getting all untangled. And then you just take this thing here and you just lift it up off of here. And this little end right here is the one you pull on. You can pull that right out of there without any tangles. Here's a field wind with your fingers. Put about uh, four or five, six inches through your uh, middle finger and first finger. Then go around your little finger and thumb and make your figure eight. Just like that right there. And once you've done once you've done a bunch of them, why well, you know you can go fairly quickly with it. Then we just take and wrap it around here however many times. 
get to the end, put my thumb in there, shove the end through that loop, snug it up, right there. There's my figure eight, 20 foot hank, ready to deploy without tangle in the middle of the night, the cold, the rain, the freezing, the snow, whatever. So there's how you can do it yourself uh, at home, or if you need to rewind cord you buy from us. Now doing this little cord example here might seem like a dumb little thing to you. And, uh, but the more time you've spent outside in the outdoors, the more you realize the value of little simple things like that to make your life easier. I'm reminded of the story of John Wooden, the famous uh, basketball coach, and how he'd take these players, bring them into camp, and he'd, have, and he'd show them how to put on their socks. He'd show them how to put on their shoes and how to tie the laces. Now, these guys all knew how to do this already, but he's emphasizing tiny, small little details that in the course of a game would make a difference. This kind of stuff here might seem small and trivial, but in the course of a game, in the course of in the course of your life, your camping experience, or, you know, God forbid, some kind of a tragedy or disaster, something you get wound up in, having your cordage already ready to go without tangling can make a difference. It can make you get, it can help you get your shelter put up quicker. Uh, it can help you to be able to help somebody else. Nothing like when your fingers are cold and frozen and you're trying to untangle a bunch of cordage so you can set up a shelter or something. And that's just one of the benefits that we hardly even talk about, but you get it with all, of, with all of our gear that you buy that has cordage. You get that advantage. Uh, and uh, we just want to let you know that that is a plus. It's worth something. And now you know how to do it yourself. You can make sure your gear works flawlessly for you time after time regardless of the situation. Wind your cordage in a figure eight like we do when we send it to you and uh, enjoy your time outdoors even more. Be safer, be quicker with your, sh with your shelter setups.